The Mild Man Novices Chase is next. This is a three mile one furlong grade one. Basic Cruzen. David Robertson, Great Sadler, Darren Thompson, Magic Word, Craig Beckwith, The Phalanx, Joshua Sutherland, Window Rock Lover, Vinnie Gerard, Cloak of Magic, Leon Van Rensburg has also got Fist Tech, Pokes and Annie Martellium, The Wild Witch, Joshua Sutherland, and Wild Rose for David Hooley. Called in and away then. A long distance novices this time. And Pokes and Annie will lead them into the first. All safe for the Everett. Hope so, Danny. He likes to go from the front. No John Morgan horse in this, so she should get her own way. Uh, Pokes and Danny it is that leads him from the Phalanx and Great Sadler, Wild Rose and Fistek. Towards the back, Basic Cousin. It's just the early back marker as they get to the second. Mistake there was by Great Sadler. Who's now dropped to the back. Pook Salamani in the lead. Past the big screen, take the fence, it'll be the last in two circuits time. Uh, Pook Salamani is clear by four to five. To Magic Word, Fist Deck and Clote of Magic, and then the Phalanx and Wild Rose. They pass the winning post. And they'll swing left handed now. And you can be pretty sure Vinnie Gerard's horse will drop to the back after this turn. And the one that's widest on the track. Yep. And it's Pokes on that even lead. Stop doing McLeod impressions. And it's Magic Word in second. Fist Tech is in third. And the Phalanx and the Wild Witch. And Basic Cousin. As they head towards the fourth. Pokes on that is now six lengths clear, I think. Well, on Fist Tech in second. Magic Word and the Phalanx. The main body of the field is. Separated by only about four lengths. The leader, Pokes and Annie, is a good six clear. Took that one really well. Got away from it well as well. Fist tick back in second. In defence five, and Pokes and Annie really attacking the fences. He's leading from the Phalanx in second. Fist tick third over the next one. That's the sixth of the 17. A long way to go. A long way for Pokes and Annie to try and stay in the lead. The Phalanx is second. Fistek is third. The Wild Witch is fourth. Then Magic Word and Great Saddler is recorded after that early mistake as they get into the next. And we'll safely over that one with Window Rock Lover still the back marker. Pokes and Annie still the leader. To be going well within herself. Jockey just maybe giving her a bit of a breather. Only four lengths clear now. Fist Tech second, then the Phalanx is third. Good jump there by the Wild Witch Magic Word. He's after that one, then Basic Cruzen on the inside of Great Sadler in the white sleeves. The second of the Leon horses in the blue jacket with a gold cap in his cloak of magic. Then David Hooley's Wild Rose in the purple. And Window Rock Lover the back marker for Vinnie Gerard in the green as they take the ninth. Pope Salani. Those red room colours, famous around here all those years ago. Difficult to believe that 50 years ago, goodness me. Fist Tech is in second. In the Wild Witch and the Phalanx, half a century that is, blimey. Over the tenth they go. All safely over that one. Cloak of Magic has dropped to the back. And the jockey on the leader continuing to look round to see how big the lead is. It's only two lengths now as they pass the winning post with a circuit ahead of them. And Pokes and Annie. Is still the leader from the Wild Witch who's gone second. Fist Deck is third, the Phalanx is fourth, then Basic Cruzen and Magic Word. Wild Rose is next, and the Great Saddler with Window Rot Lover and Cloak of Magic. The back mark of the field is much more closely grouped now than it has been. And Pope Sanani's lead is just three lengths. She's starting to stretch out again now. Fist Deck in second as they head towards the next fence. Pokes and Annie. The Joshua Sutherland pair in there, second and third. The Phalanx and the Wild Witch. This is a plain one. Leader stood off it but jumped it nicely enough. The 
Phalanx is second, Wild Witch is third, Magic Word is coming up nicely around the outside, Fish Deck is still there, the one that's been driven through is Great Saddler as they get to the next one, that time Pokes and Annie hits it hard, and she's almost surrendered the lead, in fact she has done now to the Phalanx, so the Phalanx on the outside of Pokes and Annie, then Wild Witch and Magic Word over the next, a good jump on the outside by Magic Word, and they come into this turn, and that's where the ones on the outside are going to suffer a little bit, it's going to allow what Pokes and Annie to get back into the lead, I think, as they take this turn, Pokes and Annie from the Phalanx, Wild Rose and Magic Word, then the Wild Witch as they head to the 14th, over that one, it was Pokes and Annie back in front, Magic Word on the outside though, then comes the Phalanx and Wild Rose trying to get into it, they've got four furlongs to go and three more fences to get over, this one's still wide open, Magic Word's gone on into the lead, Wild Rose is in second, Pokes and Annie's now beaten back in third, then the Phalanx and Fish Deck, Great Saddlers after that one, this is the third last, over that one they go, Magic Word landed in front, from Wild Rose in second, then comes the Phalanx, Great Saddler and Fish Tech and Nexus between these shoulders as they head down towards the final two. Magic Word and Wild Rose clear by two lengths over the Phalanx back in third. This is the second last and Magic Word hits it hard. Good jump on the outside by Fish Tech and the Phalanx but it's Wild Rose who's gone on. Wild Rose then from the Phalanx and Magic Word heading down to the final fence. Wild Rose is in front. Wild Rose is still two lengths clear as they come to this final fence. Wild Rose in front. Fish Tech on the outside of Magic Word. Here's the final fence over it. They go Wild Rose under the lead, Magic Word is now starting to close again, Wild Rose is hanging on Wild Rose from Magic Word, Wild Rose is going to hang on and take it from Magic Word Fist Deck and then the Phalanx Great Saddler the Wild Witch and David Hooley and a good day, another winner Craig Beckwith unlucky in the second and Wild Rose takes it for David Hooley Magic Word second for Craig Beckwith, Fish Tech for Leon Van Rensburg, third. Great Saddle for Darren Thompson, fourth. And the Phalanx for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.